Okay, hi folks, welcome to our second part. In this part, I will show you how to install ROS and Gazebo onto our Ubuntu system. So let's start. I started already my virtual machine. Um, just for you to know, if you want to have also a full screen, as I will have soon, you have to go here on Devices and instance the Guest Edition CD image after you already logged into your Ubuntu account. Um, then you will install this guest edition and after restarting the system you then can have a full screen monitor. To enter full screen in general you can hit control right um, together with the F. So let me do this and then I get my full screen monitor. So let's log in. Um, so we log in into our system and then it starts. And this is now our desktop of our Ubuntu system. So now we can simply open our web browser. In this time, a Firefox is pre installed, so I will use Firefox. However, you can also install a Chrome onto your Ubuntu system or whatever browser you would prefer. Um, okay, let's have a look. And. Yeah, I started this the first time. So let's search for ROS installation. ROS install Ubuntu, okay? So what we get is then this installation, installation Ubuntu. And here we have to choose now or to make sure that we have the right system. So basically here are different versions. Uh, we have so Indigo, this is quite old version. Um, it's only for uh, Ubuntu 13 and Ubuntu 14, so saucy and trusty. And we have Kinetic. This is for Ubuntu 15 and 16. And we use Melodic, which should or no? We use Melodic which is the newest version and it's available for Ubuntu 80. Okay, so for installing everything, we simply have to follow these steps. So I did already do this. So let's start with the second step. So set up your source list. So for this, we open a terminal window and we then can simply copy this and insert this into our terminal window. So we're pasting. Then it requires password because it's a pseudo operation. And afterwards, we then set up our sources list. So next step is set up the keys. So we again copy this and simply paste it into the system. So now it should show you that um, you imported one key and you process one key. Okay, that's nice. So that's done. And now we update our system. So basically we are adding sudo apt update. And now the system updates and gets all the source lists from ROS and the ROS packages, which we need for installation. Okay, it's done. So now we can install our ROS version. So you have different um, versions to install. So you can install the um, desktop full version, only the desktop version, or space version, and so on and so forth. Um, or space are only really just basic OS tools and now uh, no uh, graphical user interfaces. So this is not what we want to use because we want to use Gazebo and so on. So what we require is the um, desktop full version. Um, the advantage of installing the desktop full version, it comes already with Gazebo pre-installed. So we can simply copy this again and enter this into our um, oh, into our um, terminal. So sudo apt install ROS Melodic desktop full and then hit enter. And then 
it starts the installation, ask you if you want to really continue, we hit um, our Y, and then hit enter again, and then it starts the installation. So this will cost now a few minutes, depending on how fast your internet um, is and how fast your PC. Okay, now we installed ROS. Uh, now we have to do the last steps. So let's scroll down here. Uh, now we have to initialize the ROS dependencies. So by simply hitting sudo rostep init into our terminal, pressing enter. Well, let's then first install. Python and install the Rust dependencies. And now we can do sudo Rust app in it. And now we do one step update. And uh, here we are. Okay, now we initialize our ROS dependencies and now we have to set up the um, environment. Okay, so um, here if we use this, we put our source of our ROS system into our bash RC. That means that every time we open a new terminal, automatically our ROS environment will be sourced. So let's Enter this, and we will also use source on um, bash rc, which then um, serves it is for this actual window. Okay, that's done, and now we can use our ROS packages, basically. Okay, so that's it. Um, you can also use uh, install still this. Um, it's not really required, but we can do this. No problems. Doesn't make us any harm. Um, it's basically some requirements for some of those packages. If you use some special packages, okay. Okay, now everything is installed, and we could go to our Rust tutorials. So I will show you this. Um, there are a lot of different tutorials, um, starting with the installation and configuration, navigating through Rust system files, creating a Rust package, building a Rust package, understanding Rust nodes, understanding Rust topics, and uh, so on and so forth. So there are like 20 beginner tutorials, and there are some intermediate tutorials, and so on. So I will go with you um, through kind of all these topics um, uh, in a kind of different way. But nevertheless, you should go or you should have to look into these topics as well, uh, into these tutorials as well. So, okay, this is now everything for today. And next session we will, or I will show you how to set up your Catkin workspace, how such a Catkin workspace should be organized, uh, what is a Rust repository, 
uh, what are ROS packages, what are ROS nodes, and so on and so forth. So we will show you how to set up everything for a good, for a good ROS repository or a good Kafka workspace. Okay, see you next time.